Namaste. Today we will talk about representation of knowledge as seventh domain of cognitive psychology. In cognitive psychology, the representation of knowledge refers to how information is stored, organized and used in our minds. It involves the mental structures and processes that allows us to acquire, retain and retrieve knowledge. Here's a simple explanation with examples. First, mental storage. Our minds have a way of storing information, similar to a mental filing system or library. This storage allows us to keep and access knowledge when we need it. Second, mental images. We create mental pictures or images to represent objects, events or ideas. For example, when you think of a cat, you might imagine its fur, whiskers and tail. These mental images helps us recognize and remember things. Third is concepts and categories. We organize knowledge into categories or concepts. For example, we have a concept of animals that includes dogs, cats, birds and so on. Categories helps us group similar things together and make sense of the world. Fourth is associations. We connect related pieces of knowledge together. For instance, when you think of a pizza, you might associate it with topics like cheese, tomato sauce and pepperoni. These associations help us retrieve information and make connections. Fifth is mental models. We create mental models or representations of how things work. For example, you have a mental model of a bicycle that includes knowledge about pedals, wheels and handlebars. These models help us understand and predict how things function. Sixth is symbols and language. We use symbols such as words and signs to represent and communicate our knowledge. Language allows us to express complex thoughts and share information with others. Seventh is retrieval. Our mind retrieves stored knowledge when we need it. It's like searching for a specific file in a mental filing system. We access and bring forth the relevant information to think, solve problems and make decisions. In summary, representation of knowledge in cognitive psychology involves the ways in which information is stored, organized and accessed in our minds. It includes mental images, categories, associations, symbols and the ability to retrieve the knowledge whenever required. These processes help us understand the world, remember information and engage in various cognitive tasks. Thank you.